looks like it's got chunks in it. Not that one. That's good. What's the smell? Burnt. Shot. Moving on. Nice turn. That's why I don't like impacts on the damn thing. Whatever. Ooh, yeah, that smells bad. Not over full, were they? Some came out the top, so. You said it's been three or four years since oh. oil and stuff. But... Maintenance, maintenance. Well, that's greener than that one was. Smell bad? No. All right, well, let's do the bogeys then. Knock some of the snow off, get your buckets on each end, and let's do the bogeys on this side. And then, uh, that's all we can do. I mean, we can... That's a gear. <laughs> yep. The teeth. Oh, God, yeah. There we go. Then their teeth. Money shot. That's, That's the money shot, it. yeah. We can get the numbers off that bearing? Look at that. Yeah. That's good news, I think. This is a favorite part about my job. I, I was just telling that to that guy over there that's drilling our hole. Huh? I said, yeah, oh, like, this is our, this is the funnest part of the job. We gotta keep it. Oh. Cool. Yep. We're talking bogey sandwich. But that's that is a bearing. That's a roller bearing, so that's gonna be hopefully not a planetary. Are there covers on the back? The no. Are there covers on this one? Yeah. Okay. It's on the front. Right, that's where we change the... Yeah. Well, I'll... At least now I can call the customer and I know it's not... Wow. Yeah, we've been down this road before, haven't we? I can quit filming because you're just going to keep bringing shit out. I got to find something in the other way. Oh, I'm sure. We're going to be pulling that out anyways, that whole... Ooh. That whole ass end is coming out of there. Strip her down. What are you doing, Kyle? Holy God, you do have to take the turbo off. Just to change a gasket? <laughs> nice. Well, that's one thing Mercedes didn't do right then, huh? Well, it's got, what, 30,000? He said it's the original engine, so. You know it's gotta be harder than a rock. What did I call it yesterday? Stiffer than a coffin nail? Oh, let me get. Caught. What does the survey say, Kyle? That's broke right off in there. Mike's a big douche. Is that what you said? Nobody cares, anyways. Right? Bat wing. I looked at this already, didn't I? 
Did I look at this already, Troy? I gotta keep coming back, it's so incredible. Okay. You know what works good for that? Coca-Cola. Start a fire in here tomorrow. Come on in, baby, take your clothes off, come on in. Copyright. Copyright. Side chip. You gonna hit the hole, do it? Come in. Need some light on the subject? You need some hair? Right. Up. Right, just a little bit. Right and up, a fuzz. Oh! Come you in. Turn, you gotta turn your bearing, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Should I help or just stand here? There you go. Come on in a little bit. Look at that shit. Oh, I missed it. Back it up, we gotta do it again. No. I missed just a little bit. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Perfect. You see that? It just started to come away up here. So all you need is oh, a lock the braking. Lock a brake and find the bolt. You guys are pretty slick when the boss is around. What the heck happened there? Focus you. I'm gonna focus lately. It's a sign. It's a sign that you don't want to be on film. Troy don't want your ass on film. Ha <laughs> ha, look at he can't get his pocket out his. Uh, I like to see when you grab your wrench out of your pocket, how do you do that? <laughs> That's it, I'm done with this shit. I'm moving on, moving on. Zero money down. I gotta study. I rewired a wire harness today and I got it screwed up, so I got to study and make it right. Go figure. I think it was greased a lot. Oh my god, I've never seen something like that. There you go. Not that full. Oh, why did the camera mic? Make that clunk again, I want to hear that. Why don't this thing want to focus today? Now it's locked right tight, huh? Anyways, that's that's good. We'll we'll get to see some goodies later. We'll step in that gava grease. What? Uh, see, I can't see from here because I'm not tall enough. So. Ooh. Oh, I see a few teeth missing. You want to buy a thousand a piece? Roughly. Four, five each. You might, be looking. you might be looking for a used bogey. I ain't looking. I ain't watching you guys. It's gonna make some noise. So what are there two gears in here that are good? Not even. That ain't supposed to happen there. What do we call that? Complete failure? Oh yeah. We're chunked up here too. Ouch.
<laughs> That's bad. I didn't look at him that close for. Mr. Bogey, we just got the bearings in today, so you guys are coming in for a little bit of extra time on Friday here. We're gonna, we're gonna put. Ooh, he's already started. Ooh, -hoo. we got one right here, the old one, and the new used one. Well, the housing, anyways. Remember that? I show you. I think you remember that. No? previous video that the hole is all crapped out. Yes, the young man has everything ready to go. Look at that. That would be the same hole, but on the opposite end. So let's see how good that is. Oh, Wondermus. He's already got the bearing in. He's got all the races in. Good. This is going to go slick. And it should go back on. Yeah, I remember I showed you these. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm repeating myself because it's been a long week. Lots of stuff going on around here. Yep, look at that. He's got everything laid out on his toolbox. That's right, he's a pretty good shit. So good. And a lot of that extra stuff, that, that becomes what we call artwork. Because, you know, I don't know if I showed you guys this lately or not, but my restricted area is getting a little bit... There's extra parts in here. The other day I was working on a machine outside and some of you guys will recognize this. Electrical somatics. Old school wiring diagrams. Because when you get old, you got to write stuff down. I ain't got much going on otherwise. Oh, sure. What else do I got going on? That's about it. I had to get my loop out today, too. My little shack out in the woods at the pilot light wasn't staying lit and I what the heck is going on and you know us guys we can't stop we got to figure stuff out so I had to uh, pull the orifice out just like in anything else pull the orifice out of the pilot light and then I had to use this loop because the hole is so tiny and I'm not I'm not an LP furnace guy by any means but the orifice was plugged, and it was plugged with soot. So I was back here at my little, my little area of expertise, and uh, I was uh, even my wire drills were too big. Wow, that'll make you go bonkers. But what worked? It was a torch tip cleaning kit. There's a wire in there, you probably can't even see it. To get the crap out of it, went and put it back in. Troy, what are you doing? Fixing stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, we know nothing. This is like the highway department. One guy working, three guys watching. Make sure I'm doing it. Is that what it is? We're all we're quality control. Mm -hmm. yep. I want to see it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. 
Don't hit your finger. That one that's crooked? Show me your pinky. <coughs> Motorcycle versus deer. That's what they call that. Do you remember that? Do you remember wiping right out and have nightmares over it? No, no not nightmares. Night, night, yeah. Not any nightmares. I drove right over the top of it. Oh, okay. Took my anger on them. Okay. Looks good to me. That's what you call a slip pit, huh? Oh yeah. Good thing it's Friday, huh? Well, you now you're trying to hit the bearing underneath. Oh yeah. I better shut it off for that. I like to see Troy's whole body. He's such a sexy devil. Crank it on. <laughs> crank it on. Why don't you just take your crank out and hit that then? If it's so big. <laughs> Need help, Kyle? He's mad. Down a little bit. There you go. Did you see her go home? Yeah, you I gotta us. pull on your, move your arm back a little bit to your left. Donna, go lean on that other one. There you go. There you go, Troy. Good job. Well, that's a neat trick. Why didn't I ever think of that? Say it. Because I'm old. a douche. You're old. I'm old. Ah. Hello. Hello. They didn't have gear wrenches. They didn't have gear wrenches back when I was a Hector was a pup. Am I in your way again? Mm -hmm. Good. Get out of your way, Mike. I'm just going to sit here and pester you two. This is NASCAR. Come on. Get them all in, turn them on. You got 20 seconds. Back on the road. Should I turn the camera on or off? Off. One guy likes it on, one guy, I'll put it on him then. He's the guy who sticks his tongue out at the camera all the time and makes funny faces. You guys got anything smart to say? Say it now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, anyways, I'll, I'll leave him alone. Basically, now it's, put the tires on, put put the tires on and roll around underneath, huh? Mm -hmm. Put that down a little bit. You got to do the, coming down just a little bit. Just a little more. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Oh. End of the week here. Well, Saturday morning. In the shop. Quiet. No copyright. No radio playing. I'm learning. Just want to bring you up to date. We're we'll finish off this one project here. This Ponzi Wissant with all the big bearings that went to heck and all the, the bogey. We worked late yesterday and uh, they got her back together so Monday it'll be roll underneath there and get her done and probably won't bring you back for that because it's basically putting it back together and I was we were busy yesterday and I tried getting the guys to we were waiting for some gear lube that showed up so we got to fill them up put it underneath there set her back down and now uh, the customer wanted 
us to go through because we had this problem and he said it hasn't been changed in three years well we're gonna he asked me to do the change all the fluids on the front bogies also I mean it never hurts to put new oil in stuff from time to time you know that and uh, so that's what we're gonna do so that's really all I got today I'm gonna mess around here in the shop and do some other stuff and I don't know we got some other interesting stuff coming up but that's oh yeah and by the way for the first time in a week I'm gonna say where's the window you see that Sunshine. Oh, winter sucks sometimes. But, anyways, we're used to it up here. But it's finally, the sun is finally shining here. It's been at least a week. And man, the guy starts getting a little bit grouchy because the sun don't shine. We need that vitamin D. So sometimes we act like a couple of turtles and we'll just come over here like this. You know how turtles in the river just sit, sit on a log and sun themselves? Sometimes in the shop, that's what I do. I just sit back here and follow the sh follow the sun as it's moving across through the windows. 